Hello friends, welcome to our channel Automation Community. In the last video, we have seen how to download the required softwares and install it. Today we are going to see its basic interface and how to use that software. So friends, first of all, from here I will start my COMGR. So it will not open up here, but it will open in taskbar. You can see. Here it is ComGR. Right click it and click on open button. The box will open. But when you will open it for first time, this all will be empty. Let me show you. I will select and delete all this. So when first time you will open, it will open up like this. Now from here, we need to add hardware PLC or software simulator. So for that, I will click on add button and this dialog box will open. Here you can give any name to your PLC, hardware or simulator. So let me just give it my PLC. Now, based on your model of hardware PLC, you can select respective mode of communication like RS-232, USB, Ethernet or anything else. But if you don't have hardware PLC, yet you want to do simulations. So don't worry friends. Here there is software of DVP simulator. Just select it. Don't change any other thing from here. Just select this model SA2. Because in our programming examples, I am going to use this one. And now nothing, no need to change anything else. Just click on OK. So my simulator is created. Now, so whenever I wanted to do programming in ISPsoft, first of all, I need to select this simulator and click start over here. If this is start, then only my simulation will happen. Otherwise, I won't be able to perform my simulation. So now we have created our simulator and also started it. Just close it. Now I will open my ISP soft software from here. It may take some time to load. So yes, our software is open. So whenever first time you will open, it will appear like this. Now we will go on new button. Here we have to write our project name. So I will write first project. Here you have to select the model which you have selected in simulator. If you remember in my simulator also I have selected SA2. So no need to change it. But if there is something else in your computer you have to select what have you selected in simulator. Here there should be DVP as our simulator name is DVP simulator. And here you can select the location of project files where you want to save it. Just click OK. After that, this box will open. What it shows, here you can see the location of your file. Okay. This is the device comment list. So I will double click on it. And this box will open. Here we can write comment for our devices. Let us write comment for our input x0. In PLC, x0, x, these all are inputs. This is outputs. These are memory or internal relays. This is timers. This we use for counters. This is data registers. So right now, let me write comment for x0. For example, here I write start. Oh. Now I will go to Y and in Y0 I will write lem and just close this box. Now this shows our PLC model and this is our program. So click it and right click on it and click on new button. 
so this box will open here here we have written project name and here we will write program name so i will again write my first underscore project because we can't use space in the program name this will be cyclic task means uh, repetitive task we don't want to give any password so none and we are going to do ladder programming so select ladder and click ok so such kind of workspace will open let us maximize it now this is my network one here you can give any comment to the network that what is the function of this network so i will just try to anything like first you can write anything now here we want to insert the objects so how you can insert that so this from this toolbar we can insert context outputs multiple out from here you can insert multiple outputs and from here you can insert functions like timer counter and others in this box right now we don't require it so just close it i will teach the use of this in our later videos right now just write a simple program to show the use of this software so let me insert a contact from here select it and bring your cursor on this red portion whenever you see this see this contact click on it and our contact is created bring your mouse over here click on it here we will write its address i will write x0 and press enter again i will click it here and you can see our device comment list is visible here now i want to bring here one output for that i will select coil from here coils are our outputs bring a cursor over red portion and click on it so our output is created now i have to select pointer from here click on this button and write y0 this is our output address press enter and click anywhere so you can see its comment list lamp which we have written in device comment list so friends we have written our first project now we want to simulate it so what are the steps to simulation for that first when you are doing simulation for the first time go on tools click on communication settings so this dialog box will open from here you have to select your simulator which you have created in comgr software if here nothing shows you need to open your comgr and start your simulator after that just press ok over here now this is our compile button so click on it so here compilation is completed and there are no errors in our programming these are our download and upload if we click this our program will upload it from plc to our computer and here after and by clicking here we can download our project from computer to plc or our simulator so right now i will click over here so this box will open here you have to click on transfer button so now my program is transferring from my computer to simulator okay as you can see our simulator is connected over here it and its model number right now it is offline so for the simulation we need to go on online mode so this is the online mode button again important instruction whenever you are doing simulations you have to click on this button and press ok this button should be on while doing simulations otherwise you will get communication error in simulation right now i am in online mode but my simulator is still in stop condition so these are the run and stop buttons here i will click on run button click on yes and now PLC is 
or my simulator is in run mode it is in running mode so this is our inbuilt simulator let me show how it works for that click on input and right click on it here you can see on and off i will i want to do on so i will click on on as you can see i have on my input so my output is also on so this is the inbuilt simulator of isp soft now i want to off this for that i will right click on it and click on off so my input is off so my output is also off so friends this was all about our software interface and how to do simulation in inbuilt isp soft thank you for watching guys if you want to learn more example like this please like and subscribe our youtube channel meet you in the next video